Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hi, Jorge. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Adrian. Good to see you. Where were you? I'm fine, and you? Okay, good, great. Nice. Nice, nice. Ready. Ready to finish the course? Yes. Okay, good. Hello, Miriam. Why so happy? Hello, teacher. Uh, How are you, teacher? Okay, good. Happy because it's Monday. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Mon okay, Mon teacher. Mondays, Mondays make me happy. Okay. Teacher, when when finish the course? This week. Um, this week. Yes, on Thursday. Ah. Uh, four more classes. So we have today, tomorrow, um, the day after tomorrow, four. So we finish on Thursday. So ah, this okay. is this is the last <laughs> the last week, the four week quickly, huh? Eh? Quickly, uh, yes, teacher. Time moves fast. Yes. Okay, great. Very good, chair. Yes, good, excellent. Hello, Judith. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Ready. Ready. Okay, and good. I like to hear that. Okay. That's the attitude. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. Let me then um, get ready. Okay, today we have, as we are in section five. So we're gonna go to the dashboard. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute, I have a, some... Okay, good. Okay, let me see. What did you do this weekend? One volunteer to use verbs in past tense. No, Evelyn, you don't, Mariela, you, you don't. No, no, no. The rest, let them speak. <laughs> Hello, Mariela. How are you? I haven't, Hi. I haven't seen. Hi, you. you. All right, good. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah. good. Evelyn Elizabeth, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, <laughs> good, good. Happy because it's Monday. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> and Jerry, Diego, Fernando. Well, we have a. We have the whole crew here. Uh, who wants to share what you did during the weekend using verbs in past tense? For example, this weekend, um, I, I had a family meeting, okay? And then uh, we enjoyed um, Sunday morning and afternoon. Uh, we, we had a barbecue. Then we ate meat, vegetables, um, what else? And we drink sodas, water, a couple of beers, not too much, only one or two. And then uh, we watched the uh, soccer games. We watched the soccer games. And then uh, we played uh, board games. And then, uh, and that was it. It was very nice, okay? Who wants to share four or five sentences? You don't need to say too much. Only one. Nobody? Choose a big thing, teacher. Yes, I will have to. Okay, it will be... Let's meet, teacher, let's meet. <laughs> it will be dedocratically, right? 
is a Spanglish. Dedo cratical, I will use the finger. Okay, good. No, I know, you know. Uh, Evelyn Elizabeth likes to speak. Okay, Evelyn, tell us about your weekend. What did uh, you do? Uh, I celebrated, celebrated the birthday to my son. Okay. Uh, was I was very was very very wonderful day by um, that. Okay, good. Okay, you celebrated your son's birthday and how old is he now? How old is he now? Five, four, six years old. Uh, one. Wow, oh my God, it's a little baby, wow. That's good. So you celebrated his first birthday. Uh, his first birthday. Excellent. Good. How about you, Judith? What did you do? Um, nothing. I stay at home with my family. Okay. Clean the house. I sleep all day. Okay, very good. So you see, this is uh, um, very nice too because you can, you can express yourself in a natural way. When Judith says nothing, Okay, in English, you can say nothing much. Okay, nothing much. You know, I stay home uh, with my family. I clean the house and I slept. Okay, good. That's nothing much. Okay, nothing much is like we say, when we say in Spanish too, uh, no mucho, right? Just a couple of things. Or we can say nothing. But those words are more natural, nor something like, what did you do? Oh, I, on Saturday afternoon, I did not. It does more mechanical or, or if, like if you were reading a book, be more natural. Good. Okay. Uh, let's, yes. No? Okay. Hey, Ismael, what did you do on the weekend? What was your, how was your weekend like? I walked in the park with my family okay. and my friends only. Only. Okay. I walked in the park with my family and friends. Good. Excellent. Adrian, Adrian, Adrian went on vacations in his last Wednesday. You know, he was in, in Miami, Florida, I guess, or, or Costa Rica, mm. maybe. I don't know. Adrian, what did you do? Hi, teacher. Uh, I was study of the course on Sunday, uh, on the Saturday. Uh -huh. And Sunday, I enjoy watching uh, soccer, Argentinian soccer. Okay, very good. And sleeping. <laughs> and sleep. And sleep. And sleep. Okay, listen, this is a good student, okay? This is a uh, role model, okay? What is a role model? Okay, let me see, role. No me voy a preguntar a mí. Okay, role model. What is a role model? In the chat, ¿qué es un role model? ¿Ah? Your father is a role model. Is a person that is good, uh, is a good example for you or for people in life, right? Yes. Then Adrián, Adrián is a role model for the class. Okay, o sea, Adrián es el ejemplo a seguir en la clase. Role model. Ah, yes, he, he said, el único que ha dicho, I studied my English course on Saturday. You see, very good. No? Nice, excellent. Tiene 10. <laughs> you have a 10. Good. What about you, Mariela? What did you do? On Saturday, I went to San Miguel to visit my parents and I slept all the afternoon. And on Sunday, I only washed my car. Okay, very good. You only so, washed your car. Excellent. Nice weekend. Good. How about you, Jorge? How was your weekend like? What do you do? Hi. Good evening, teacher, and good evening, everybody. Uh, so Saturday, uh, I only. Uh, uh, 
No, in the morning, so in, in, in the afternoon, I only visited my, my girlfriend uh, to Sunday. And, and Sunday, I only see movies and all of that. Uh, and work, and I worked in something, a personal project. Oh, very good, very good. Sounds entertaining weekend, okay? Very easy too, but with nice activities. Okay, good. Miriam, what did you do? Good evening. Hello. And uh, uh, my weekend, it was, it was um, very, uh, very tired, tired because I work, work uh, uh, all the weekend, okay. Saturday and, and Sunday too. Yes, I am very bored, teacher. Okay, well, it was boring, My date. Yeah. boring and tired. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yes, teacher. Because it's so monotonous. tired. Monotonous, right? To uh, yes. Okay, good. Okay, people, this is just enough to not to warm up, not to know uh, some details and things that you did in the past uh, weekend, you know, some, and then we can practice some verbs. Okay, now we're going to check the, the platform and let me share. Okay, this is the last uh, video we watched on Thursday. Remember, this was the statements with the past of B, right? So I will play it again so that you can refresh the last uh, thing that we studied last Thursday. And then we can go on to the practice. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion. Give me a second. This conversation, which illustrates three statements using hi everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form... Okay, the rest... I think you remember, but now I will. With the past of B. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U U.S.? No. Okay, then uh, Natalie, you are going to read the part of up. And Asiel, you're going to read, no, uh, Asiel, you're going to read the part of Scott. And Natalie, you're going to read the part of Melissa. Okay? 
please read the dialogue. Okay. Yes, sir. Where were you born, Marisa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here. I... 1999. 1999. 1999. Oh. 1999. Hmm. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English class for two years here. Wow. Your English is really good now. Yes, yeah, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. But I was born here. Yes, that's correct. Very good. Okay, um, Fernando Joaquin, you are going to be top. Okay, in Atucena, you are Melissa. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Well, Chuck, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so, so you were born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but as we're born here. Excellent. Very good. Nice pronunciation, nice intonation, nice fluency. Good. Good, good, good people. Uh, okay. Next, uh, we have, uh, I have Evelyn, Evelyn, only Evelyn and Ismael. Okay, Ismael, you are chat, and Evelyn, you are Melissa. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? Evelyn, yo, Evelyn, Elizabeth. I see. I see three Evelyn's now. I see Evelyn Mariela, I see Evelyn Elizabeth, but I see another. Evelyn, Evelyn, only. Okay, yes. You're the oh, yes, you are the one. Yeah, because I have Mariela and I have Evelyn, Melissa. Yes, Evelyn, yours. Go ahead. Where, 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 where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 99. Like 1999. 1989. Mm, you, you were pretty young? Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now? Thank you. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, very good. Natural too, nice. Okay. Everything has some equal dialogue, very good. Okay, <laughs> that's nice. Excellent, good pronunciation, good intonation, good fluent. Okay, Evelyn Elizabeth, you read uh, Melissa and Jorge, you read Okay, so where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 99. You were pretty young. 
Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to the college uh, right, right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Then your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Great, excellent, very good too. Nice intonation, good. Okay, uh, Mariela, Evelyn, Mariela, and Adrián. I came here in 1999. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. Okay. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Hey, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, uh, your English is really good now. Yes, your English is really good too. Yeah, uh, but this was born here. Okay, very nice, excellent. Okay, good. And then uh, let me see, we have the medium and Jerry? Okay. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young? Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, very good. Okay, Fernando Bermudez and Anayansi. Okay, this is, uh, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't, you weren't born in the US, US? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, very good. Now Aida and Diego. They were here. Okay, uh, what were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so <laughs> you weren't born in the USA? <clears throat> mm, you were pretty young. Ay, perdón, me equivoqué. Mm -hmm. No, I came <laughs> here in 1999. 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was I was born here. Okay, wow, very good. Everybody reading pretty pretty well. Okay, Claudia, you are Melissa. Okay. 
Okay. And I am tough. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1899. 1999. Mm. 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was, wasn't very good, so I took English class classroom for two years. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yes, but I am the teacher. Okay. <laughs> yes, but I was born here. Okay, good. Okay. Excellent people. Very nice. Good pronunciation. You see, nobody, nobody shows problems with pronunciation. Okay. Any confluence. Okay, it's only practice. Practice, practice, practice what you need. Okay, then uh, because I see that casi nadie tiene problemas de pronunciación, okay, no, no fluency. Okay, what you need is to produce, to catch la pena, and a lot more, okay? So that's what you need to do. Very good, nice. Now let's see the, the next one, which is. Add the correct form of the verb was, where, wasn't, weren't to complete the conversation. Okay, so we have, what do we have to write here using was, where, wasn't, or when? Affirmative, singular, affirmative plural, affir uh, negative and singular, or negative and plural. Okay, now we're gonna go one by one. Median, what's the number, the first one? My family and I. My family and I were all born in Sur Korea. Were all born. Okay. Was. Yeah, because it's my family and I. It's the group. Okay, plural. So my family and I is we. Good. Uh, you did. The second one. We wasn't or we weren't. We weren't. We weren't. That's correct. Okay, Mariela. <laughs> Number three, was aware. I was going to uh, see. I was born, that's correct. Okay, how about the next one, Elizabeth? Evelyn Elizabeth? My parents. My parents weren't. Great, weren't. My parents weren't. Good. Jorge, the next one, day. They were, born in... they were they were they were born in the, in the capital Seoul. That's correct. So okay, they were born in the capital of Seoul. Good. Adrian, number I don't know, the last one. Uh, in South Korea, my father was a businessman and my mother was a teacher. Very good, good, good people. Okay, so there we have the uses of a was and were, right? Just remember, only one person, I was, he was, she was, it was, except you, you were. Then you have my family and I is we, plural, we were. A, my parents is they, they weren't. In here, they were in, they were born in the capital of Seoul. Okay. Good. Now the next one, uh, Ismael, could you please read this lesson objective here, please? Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer question. With the pass of B, additionally, you will also learn how to express years. Okay. I think you remember how to ask questions, right? Were you, was he, was she? Okay, but now you, you also use a years, right? How to express years. Pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? The pronunciation of years. 
okay, when you have different dates. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of B. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Okay. As you can see in these uh, questions, the yes, no questions, this is, remember the game that we were practicing, the 20 question is, were you born in the US? Um, the yes, no question sometimes is used when you have a certain idea, okay? Where the person is from, okay? You say, for example, ah, okay, uh, were you born in El Salvador? They say, yes, I was, because probably you can hear, if you are in the United States, you can hear the accent when these people speak, right? When Salvadorian speak, when people from Guatemala speak, right? You know, when people from Honduras, from Nicaragua, we can, or, or Costa Rica, we can uh, identify their nationality because of their uh, of the of the pronunciation their accent right so then you can use the the yes no question were you born in costa rica but when you have or when we have no idea okay so that we want to know exactly okay where were you born okay and they say i was born in korea sometimes if you see people from asia they look similar, not exactly the same, right? People from Korea, Taiwan, Japan, China, there are differences, right? But sometimes we don't uh, see those differences. Then it's better you ask the question, where were you born? Then they would say, I was born in Japan, I was born in Korea, I was born in Taiwan, or I was uh, uh, born in China. Or when people have a black skin color, you know, then you don't know, okay, if they are from, a, I don't know, probably from, a, we can say Morocco, okay, or they are probably from um, Zimbabwe, or probably they are from, a, I don't know, what other countries, you know, where people a, from Africa, right, there are so many other countries where you can say where were you born. And the other one is the year. Was your brother born in 1984? You have an idea, okay? And when was he born when you don't have an idea? So you see the yes no question is less direct and the information question where, when, or what is when you want to know that information specifically. Okay? Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that Whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. 
Next, we need to include the subject you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark, born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Next, we need this a uh, yes or no question. Are you born in the US? Word. Let's analyze. Whenever we make subject, plus complement. Perform questions with the past. Years. 1906. Okay, this is, you know, this is important, right? Check that they say. Years. 1906. That 1906. 1906. 1917. 1917. They separate the two parts, right? 1999 2001 Okay, but here is a 2001 The year 2000, 2001 to form And then say for example, they usually use 2010 Okay, 2020 Okay, and some people use 2020, right? But now it's 2021 Okay, now they are using 2010 Okay, and 21, 2000 22 okay so that would be the the other one but before before 2000 you split you separate okay the uh, 1894 okay and 1966 okay and then uh dates that you can remember from those from that uh let's say decade of 19 decades 1980s 70s or 60s Okay, questions? Do you have any questions about um, the use of years? Okay. Now, now you repetir know. como era el cero. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, 1906. Oh. Uh, oh, like a letter O. Like the letter O. Mm -hmm. It's similar to um. the telephone number. For example, the telephone, my telephone number is 743607. Okay, instead of saying zero, say 07. Okay, telephone number for in years, they use uh, 1906. And 1903, 1904, 1905, which is okay. Yes, Miriam. Yes, teacher. I have a question. Okay. Uh, can I can I say O or or zero? Zero. Yes, you can say zero. But uh, okay. I mean, you can say it, but. For example, in this case, it's more people use oh, right? But say okay. 1906, uh, the people will locate you like if you're probably using another number, right? Okay. It's most that, common, mm -hmm. teacher, it's most common use O in date. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I mean, thank you. It's correct. I mean, it's, you can use it, but. People use it all, right? It's more, okay. that's the most common. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, let's see now. Um, 
you can uh, invent, okay, for example, try to remember, uh, for example, your, uh, the year that you, that you were born, the year that your father was born, the year, the year that your mother was born, for example, I can say uh, my mother was born in 1938. My father was born in 1928. Okay, I was born in 1966. Um, uh, my what? My son was born in 1994. Okay, and then you can go same dates of birth, right? Now we're gonna go from one round. Okay, one round, and everybody's saying you choose. If you say, well, oh, you can, uh, for example, you can also look for. Um, dates of uh, celebrities okay you can say uh, michael jackson was born in 1966 maybe 1960 uh, or michael jackson died in 1994 1996 or in 2014 2014 so you can use uh, he was born you can use celebrities too, okay the idea is to practice the years, okay, the years, and I was born, he was born, she was born, or they were born, all right? Ready? Volunteer. Okay, let me check, um, I will take, uh, I will take a photo, I'll record it. I'm gonna give the attendance. Let me see the participants. Here we go. Let's another picture. Okay, just let me take another one. Okay, here we go. All right, so then, who wants to be the first? The first one gets 10 virtual dollars, okay? The winner of 10 virtual dollars today is going to be the first one, okay? Okay, good. Go ahead, Miriam. Okay, teacher. Uh, I was born in 1980. Uh, my first daughter, my first daughter was born in 1995. Yes. Okay. And the, my second daughter, was born in 1999, yes. Okay. And my granddaughter was born in, uh, so uh, in 20, 2013. 2013, okay, good. Yes. Not long ago, right? Not long ago. Okay, very good. And then, anybody else? You can say one, two, three, four sentences, five, no problem. Me, teacher. Okay, Susana, thank you. Okay. I was born in 1980. Uh, my father was born in 1941. Okay. Uh, my husband born in 1975. And my grandmother died in 2020. In okay, I'm sorry to hear that too, right? Okay, so then uh, let's see. Well, Asusena has just won a gift card for $100 to the supermarket, okay, for participating. Thank you very much. Okay, the next one is going to be one week in, um, in a hotel on the beach. I won't tell you the name of the beach. Who wants to win that? That, uh, let's say, uh, one week in a resort beach in El Salvador for 
Holy Week. I know you want it. I know you want it. Teacher, I need a vacation. <laughs> I need a... <laughs> no, but, but in your case, you know, you have a 10, 10, 10 years of dollars. But then, but like, you know, I can, I can give you, I can give you a gift card too, okay? Okay. okay you can use it for the vacation as well. Okay. Anybody else? One more, one more. Don't be shy. Just speak with the English people. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, no, we're gonna use the ones that have the camera off. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use uh, Aida. Tell me the sentence. I was born in 1984. Okay, good. My daughter was born in 2006. Okay. Very good. Excellent. That's nice. Ana I was born in 1982. Okay. And my only son was born in 2002. Perfect, perfect, you see? Okay, very good. Fernando, Fernando Joaquin. Yeah, I'm Tell here. Me, what, what year were you born? Uh, well, I was born in 1997, right? Mm -hmm. And and my father was born in 1957, I think so. I, I don't know. I don't remember exactly. Right? Okay. No problem. Yeah. That's not a problem. Okay. Very good. Diego. I was born in 1997 and my father uh, was born in 1955 and my mother was in 1980 and my brother was in 1995. 95. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, Fernando Bermudez, how about you? When were you born or somebody from your time? Okay, he'll be back, he'll return. And then, uh, Hacien? Yes, um, I was born in 19... Uh, 1998. Okay. And my little sister was born in 2020. In 2020? Wow. That's a baby. Okay, that's good. Yes. yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yes, like yes. the sister. That's nice. Yes. I would like, yes. To, have, I would like to have a sister now like that. <laughs> It would be like my granddaughter, me. Okay, good. Uh, Natalie? Yes. I was born in 2000, and my father was born in 1967. 67. Okay, good. Okay, uh, Mariela? I was born in 1992. My father was born on 1962, and my little brother was born in 1998. 1998, okay. 98. Okay, very good, nice. Okay, and you did? I was born in 1990, no, in 1992, and my mother was born in 1973, and my brother was born in 1991, and my brother was born in 1988. 1988, okay, good, thank you. 
Okay, uh, Evelyn Elizabeth. Okay, I was born in 1994. My brother was in 1995. My husband was in what 1990. Born? My husband was born in 1990. And my son was born in 2020. In 2020. Oh, last year too. Okay, very good. Ah, that's why it's one year, right? Yes, it's one year old. Okay, very good. My goodness, it was exactly when the pandemic started. Okay, <laughs> that's nice. Okay, very good. Ismael. I was born in 1989 and my father, my father was, what? Oh, sorry. My father was born in 1969, and my mother was born in 1969, and my sister was born in 1997. 1997. Okay, good. Claudia, the last but not least. Hello, Claudia. Okay, it's good, 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 no problem. She might be back later. Okay, people, good. But now you see, that's the difference, right? When you uh, tell the, the years, right? 1966, 1988, 2000, uh, 2000 only. Uh, let's say 2006, 2020, okay? And this, these are the ones that you can use. Okay, good. Then, uh, oh, wait, go. Okay, good. Now, the next one. Let's see the, the last uh, topic for today. It's the one about, okay, oh yes, this one. You see here, where were you born, right? Where were you born? Select the best answer to the question, where were you born? Then you have, her name was Yumiko, in Hiroshima, Japan, she was very friendly, I wanted to improve my English. I grew up in Tokyo, I was a little scared. Which in is Hiroshima, the best? In Hiroshima, Japan. In Hiroshima, Hiroshima, Japan. Okay. Where did you grow up? I grew, I grew up in Tokyo. Very good. I grew up. I grew up in Tokyo. How was your first day at school? How, how was your first day of school? It was a little scary. It was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name. Her name is Yumiko. Her name was Yumiko. Uh, what was he or she like? She. Sorry. She was uh, really friendly. She was really friendly. She was really friendly. No, era la otra teacher. Oh, she was. Oh, yeah, I changed it, right? Who was your first friend? Sorry. Hey, you said it was? Her name is, Nicole. was Yumiko. Uh -huh, yes, thank you very much. And. Look where he was with mm -hmm. She was. One? I want them to improve my. I want to improve my. To improve my why did you take this class? I wanted to improve my English. All right. There you can see. That's where, how, who, what, and why. Those are questions that you can use. Where were you born? Where did you grow up? How was your first day of school? Uh, who was your first friend in school? 
what was she like? Okay, look at this one and say, what was she like and know how, right? This is what. And why did you take this class? Questions? So far, so good. Okay, Adrian, could you please read this objective here? Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn to sum natural when using negative contraction. Okay, good. This is, you know, pronunciation and intonation using negative contraction. Okay, this is a short video to practice pronunciation, negative contraction. Pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Because they weren't hungry. I don't isn't. Isn't. Can't. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Contractions. Let's okay. get started by analyzing the contractions on this Only chart. Only Aren't. Aren't. Weren't. Wearing. Don't. Don't. Can't. Can. Two syllables. Isn't. Okay, so if you see here, aren't. No aren't, right? Aren't. Sounds like one syllable. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Can't, aren't, weren't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because... Okay, and that's why sometimes it is difficult to... Uh, to listen, okay, to detect, okay, when they use the contractions or in movies or when somebody is speaking uh, naturally, right? So as I say, they aren't, they aren't, no, they aren't. We usually use uh, they, they aren't, but this is they aren't, uh, don't, wasn't, I mean, weren't, weren't, can, then isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't, okay? So those are the sounds. Then when you have a sentence, you say, they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. These are in so they can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. Okay, for, uh, before, we, before we go, uh, are there any questions about the platform? ¿Alguna pregunta o duda que tengan de la plataforma? De los ejercicios, van al día. Yes, teacher, I'm finished. Oh, you finished, okay, ya todos tienen el diploma. I'm finished too, teacher. 
Okay, good. I finished two, I finished two teacher. Okay, ya tienen dos, ya tienen su 80% de nota o más. You can, you know, you, you will be able to continue. I think, I think that the next course starts next Tuesday or Wednesday. Que el siguiente curso va a comenzar como martes o miércoles, creo, en la otra semana. Okay, so probably Tuesday. Mm -hmm. O sea que esto va. Teacher, una pregunta. Activo porque va rápido. Ajá. Con respecto a eso, yo tenía dudas con el siguiente módulo. Este estaba escribiendo en el, en el WhatsApp que es para intermedio 1. Ajá. Sí, creo, sí, creo que es Porque el algunos pusieron que era intermedio 1, parece. Pero estaba viendo que es pre-intermedio. Pre-intermedio, sí. Pero este, este es el. Este es el básico, ¿verdad? No, está en... ¿Cómo, cómo lo pusieron? Principiante, perdón. Está en principiante 3. O sea, que termina aquí el principiante y ya pasan al 3. Pero tienen que ir intermedio. ¿Ok? okay. Good. Eh, bueno, espero que ya tengan todos sus documentos ready. ¿Ok? And, para iniciar la otra semana. Ok, then, for tomorrow, for tomorrow, eh, vamos a practicar eso al inicio de la pronunciación, así como hicimos hoy con nosotros. En... Quiero, eh, por favor, quiero que practiquen o piensen en describir a alguien en past tense. Piensen en un artista o alguien. And say, for example, okay, uh, this person was born in 1964. Uh, he was a very famous uh, soccer player. He played, he was born in Europe. Van ir dando pista, right? Vamos a hacer lo contrario de aquel juego. Y vamos a hacer lo contrario. Right now we're going to eh, eh, give clues hasta que alguien diga de quién estamos hablando, right? So then, uh, he was, for example, he was born in England. He played in the national team of England, okay? Hasta que se encuentren quién la persona. You got it? So it's five or six sentences more or less. So practice the sentences and the pronunciation. Have a very good night. May God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, See you. Okay. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.